Hi everyone. I've just finished marking your submissions for the mock reading and writing and I have to say I'm feeling really encouraged um, because I've seen some really excellent work. So well done for really rising to that challenge. I know it's not straightforward but it seemed to me as though you read the material you were given very carefully and you really thought yourself into the situation and engaged with the question. Um, I've seen some really outstanding work as I say. Um, so I wanted just to record a few little bits of feedback that are general for everybody. Um, one, one important one, when you get the task, whether it's for your reading or for your speaking, read the task carefully. Make sure you know what we're looking for. Um, that's obviously vital because that's the criteria we mark against. Uh, a second a sort of misunderstanding that I've seen in a few people's messages to me, your assessments will be available from 9am on the day of the assessment until 9am till the, fo the following day. So you have a 24 hour slot. That 24 hour slot doesn't start ticking away from the moment that you click the assignment. It starts at 9am UK time, whatever time that is where you are and it closes and cuts off at 9 a.m. the following day. So I wanted to really make sure that everybody understood that. Um, and uh, another couple of little notes for the, um, particularly for the reading and writing, but also uh, may apply to the speaking as you prepare your thing. We're expecting you, because this, this is an open book exam, in effect, in other words, you can access your Google Translate if you really must, you can access dictionaries. Um, we're expecting you to check your work. So just as if you were writing it in class, you would do. Um, so do check your genders and do check your accord. Try and make your work as accurate as possible. Um, I would suggest as well that you get used to, if you haven't used it already, use Linge, which is L-I-N-G-E-E. -E. If you put it into Google, you'll find it's a corpus based dictionary. And the beauty of that is you can put a word in and it will give you examples of that word in a context. And that gives you much more than Google Translate. So yeah, get used to it. It's a really useful tool. It will be useful throughout your use of language in the future as well. Um, clearly, you have a 24 hour slot for both of these assessments. Use that time to prepare, spend it wisely. I don't think it'll take you the full 24 hours, but you know maybe you're getting up very early in the morning or you've got other things to do during that day. Um, so do invest that time in preparing. However, one word of caution, and I say this as a learning technologist, I've been using technologies for teaching and learning for the past 30 years. I know technologies sometimes don't do what they're supposed to. So please don't leave your submission to the last minute when systems are under a barrage of submissions that's when they're most likely to fail so you know try and pace yourself and when you're happy with the work you've got make sure you click submit very important otherwise it will only be a draft make sure you click submit and at that point your um, submission will be time stamped so we can see very clearly when you've submitted Deep breath. Enjoy what you're doing. I know it's hard, but you know we try to put together activities that hopefully you'll enjoy and they won't be uh, zapping your energies because we all need as much energy as we can get these days. I really look forward to marking it. I hope I have just as much enjoyment marking it as I have with your mocks. Thank you so much for doing such a good job. Take care. You know where I am. You can contact me through Moodle or email anytime. And good luck.